Hey, here's Fortnite on the Chromebook. Come along and let me help you get Fortnite on your Chromebook. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe, and bell button, and come join my Discord down in the description. Now you want to go ahead and click on your Chrome browser at the bottom hand side. Now once you're here, just make sure to enlarge it and make sure it's full screen. Now we want to go ahead and type in Chrome space web store. Now go ahead and hit enter and wait for it to load. Now once it loads, make sure to click the one that says chrome.google.com, click on that one, and then wait for it to load as well. I want to go to the search bar and type in keyboard, and bring the and sign space and, mounts for xbox space x cloud now once you're done just hit enter and wait for it to load now once you're here you want to select the one that says modern kit dot one just go ahead and click on this very first one now once we're here we can go ahead and click on add to chrome and then we can click the add extension now depending on your chrome web store version you can go ahead and get the same thing as well now once it's done just go ahead and exit out of this main part now once you're done with that all you need to go ahead and do is click on the new tab and type in xbox and hit enter on that now once i've clicked on xbox i can go ahead and click the official xbox.com site and then wait for that to load now once you just go ahead and click the sign in button at the top right hand side and then wait for that to load as well now once in the interface go ahead and click on create one now once you've clicked on that go ahead and type your email we're creating a new account just to make sure that everything goes right so i'm going to type in my email address and then i'm going to sign in and see you guys on the other side so now once you're done just go ahead and click your account and then click on xbox profile down here or maybe xbox account either of them should lead you to the same place now once you're here all you need to do is go ahead and click the privacy settings now once you're here go ahead and change two things as you can see you can use video for communication as on friends change that to everyone and scroll all the way to the bottom and click submit and wait for it to be submitted now once that is done we can go all the way back to the top and then click on the xbox online security part of it and then make sure that you can play with people outside of xbox live is allowed now once you make sure that it's allowed you can also make sure everything is allowed just for safety sake click submit and wait for it to be submitted last but not the least you can click on xbox 360 come all the way down and then just make sure everything here is fine now once you're done with that go to the link down in the description click on my website and then copy this code now hit ctrc come back to your tab hit ctrv and paste it and hit enter now once you hit enter all you have to do is wait for it to load now once you're in this interface everything is already set for you now go ahead and click on set games you can enlarge it in fact and then you can go ahead and type in fortnite now it's going to ask you to click on the icon for what we did so the icon has still not been shown here we can click on this plugin icon and then we can go ahead and select the very very icon that we added to our chrome which was keyboard and mouse xbox x cloud click on the pin sign and it should start to show here now click out of this and then click on it so that it can show stop showing here now i have used it for my trial and my trial is over however you don't need to use it for a trial if you have a gamepad that would also be much easier so go ahead and click on the fortnite game and wait for it to load once you just go ahead and click on play now depending on when you joined or how many people are playing the game it's going to give you an amount of time to wait before you can log on to the site if you have a controller or you have a touch screen chromebook then this is to your advantage however if you don't have both of them i recommend using the xbox cloud you know software now it says 45 minutes so i'll see you guys once that time is over now depending on the time of the day you try to do this it's going to load up quickly now as you can see it says xbox and it's going to load up pretty much quickly and so it says click to start playing so i'm going to click on that and i've connected my controller so i can go ahead and link an account i have if i already play fortnite or i can go ahead and hit the box sign since this is a new account just for the sake of this video and so make sure to read before you continue playing fortnite so i'm going to say no thanks because this is a new account and i'm going to choose my date of birth because it's, it's pretty much a new account that i'm trying to play fortnite on so i'm going to do it just random stuff and then I'm going to continue. Now, if you have the keyboard and mouse settings, I'm going to teach you that in just a short while. Now, as you can see, it's logging me in. I have to accept the terms and services, and then it's going to log me into the lobby. Now, for the sake of this video, I'll just want to skip a lot of parts on these things and just go straight to the lobby. So I'm going to skip this whole cinematic so that I can go back to the lobby. And so we're going to equip all the things and the gift that we're given for Christmas. And then we can go right to the lobby this is the legal lobby so i'm going to go back to the normal battle royale lobby and then this is what it's going to look like now once again i'm going to skip this cinematic because i don't really need to watch it again 
And so as you can see here is it slashy lump 03991 as you, you saw on the Xbox account. Make sure to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description. Don't also forget to leave a comment.